Greetings, folks. You may or may not be aware of my recent prop chop uh, that was caused by this plane, the Crosswind Mini. What I was doing with the Crosswind Mini was um, working with Mark Hoffman of the INAV Fixed Wing Facebook group. Uh, trying to get the tune correct so we, we could get rid of the uh, surfing or the oscillations in pitch when you put it into a, an autopilot or a GPS mode like uh, altitude hold. A lot of people are noticing that on these sorts of twin motor uh, long range FPV planes, uh, initially you do get that sort of pitching in surf, happens with the Alba Bird. Uh, it has also happened with the um, Killer Whale. Uh, so there's something about this layout of a plane that exacerbates that uh, pitch oscillation. Uh, it'd be interesting to work out why that is. I'll try and explain what uh, Mark fed back to me by looking at my black box recordings, uh, what was going on with it. So initially I had it on uh, an F405 wing board on INAV 2.5 uh, and just used my standard uh, stock sort of setup. Uh, that would be a pitch maximum rate of 180 degrees per second and roll maximum rate of 180 degrees per second. Turned out they were way too high. I had set up my feed forward value so that I was getting 80% throw in acro compared to what you get in manual. And I had about uh, what I thought was reasonable uh, 15 degrees up and down deflection on the elevator. So it flew perfectly fine in manual and acro mode, which is my normal flying modes, really. I don't really do a lot of um, sort of autopilot flying. And it really doesn't show up in those modes. It's only when you go into something like altitude hold or uh, return to home. So when Mark contacted me and said he'd be interested in looking at my logs and, and FPV videos, hopefully he and Darren Lyons are going to do a series of videos on black box analysis which would be really good because I still really don't understand it all that much. I've never gone into that level of fine tuning really. So I thought I should, before I started uh, putting Mark's adjustments on, I thought I should update to 2.6. So I did that uh, and the first flight I, I took it out uh, untrimmed, untuned, uh, just with my stock settings on INAV 2.6 on the F405 wing board. I can show you some of the footage of the sort of oscillations I was getting there. Uh, quite marked and possibly even dangerous in a return to home. You know, it may uh, induce a stall on some sorts of planes. Sent the black box log to Mark and he had a look at it and he could see that it was obviously out of trim for the elevator because the eye term was maxed out trying to push the nose down all the time. Even though it felt quite reasonable to fly, maybe, you know, rising a bit on manual mode. The board trim, uh, the board uh, pitch degrees were fine because it was flying perfectly well in acro mode. So I wasn't worried about that at all. Center of gravity, I've been flying this plane for a long time, so I knew the center of gravity was, was good. So Mark came back to me and told me that I needed to trim, manually trim the plane properly or do an auto trim and to increase the elevator throws by quite a lot. Uh, so that put the elevator throws up to 30 degrees up and 30 degrees down, which is very, very large elevator throw. But for INAV, this plane needs that amount of throw in manual mode and maybe 20 degrees up and down in acro mode. I also had some horizon drift, which is where the artificial horizon stays tilted after a prolonged turn, slowly comes back to level. Um, so to combat that, you need to insert the line IMU underscore ACC underscore ignore underscore rate equals seven for this plane works well, or you can go up to 10 with more agile planes apparently. And that vastly reduces that, that horizon drift problem. And I also had to reduce my maximum rates. Uh, so I had to work out properly, more accurately, how long it took to do a full roll or a full loop from my observations it seemed to be taking two and a half three seconds to do both of those um, so I put the rates at about 120 100 and some, 100 something like that uh, but they needed to be even reduced further than that because whenever I do an auto tune the the feed forward and the I values would go sky high which is an indication that uh, your rates are set too high so I dropped the rates down to 85 for pitch and 85 for roll that's the maximum roll rate and maximum pitch rate in degrees per second. 
And you can see in this footage that greatly reduced the oscillations. Uh, we're getting quite close, but there was always still a little bit of extra uh, up and down. Uh, couldn't turn it, uh, tune it out. Mark was running out of ideas. We were playing around with the uh, angle strength and the uh, position Z strength as well. They didn't seem to be making any difference. And then I had a look at the tail servo and the action of the elevator, and I realised that it was it was uh, double centering, as in you would deflect up and it would stop slightly up, deflect down and the elevator would stop slightly down. So that was showing that either my servo wasn't good enough quality or my hinge was binding. And it turns out my hinge was actually a little bit stiff and probably the servo wasn't uh, quite good enough to overcome that. It was a Turn G9018 servo, Metal Gear. Pretty good servo as far as I'm concerned. Um, I've used it in, in a lot of my builds. So I changed it to a, a much better quality KST Digital my, uh, Metal Gear servo. It came from Carbon Bird, I think. And lubricated the elevator hinge. And that totally got rid of the pitch oscillations when we put it into altitude hold mode. And I managed to get this final footage of that uh, just before I chopped my fingers. The way I did it was I uh, came into land, uh, forgot to disarm the board, bent down to pick up the, the uh, plane and bumped the throttle up just as I was reaching down with my fingers. Uh, caught me by surprise and uh, basically chopped off the end of my finger. So to summarise, uh, what we had to do was increase the elevator throws to 30 degrees up and 30 degrees down in manual mode. Decrease the maximum pitch rate down to 85. Use the ACC Ignore line in the CLI to reduce the horizon drift. And make sure the elevator was working smoothly. But it shows that black box analysis can certainly help to uh, fine tune your plane when flying INAV. Thanks for watching and watch out for your fingers.